CSC 520. Dining Philosopher's Problem. The Dining Philosopher's Problem states that there are five philosophers sharing a circular table and they eat and think alternatively. There is a bowl of rice for each of the philosophers and five forks. A philosopher needs both their right and left fork to eat. A hungry philosopher may only eat if there are both forks available. Otherwise a philosopher puts down their fork and begin thinking again. The Solution for the Dining Philosopher's Problem a solution of the dining philosopher's problem is to use a semaphore to represent a fork. A fork can be picked up by executing a weight operation on the semaphore and released by executing a signal semaphore. Initially the elements of the fork are initialized to 1 as the forks are on the table and not picked up by a philosopher. The first weight operation is performed on fork i and fork i plus 1% 5. This means that the philosopher i has picked up the forks on his sides. Then the eating function is performed. After that, signal operation is performed on fork i and fork i plus 1% 5. This means that the philosopher i has eaten and put down the forks on his sides. Then the philosopher goes back to thinking. The previous solution makes sure that no two neighboring philosophers can eat at the same time. But this solution can lead to a deadlock. This may happen if all the philosophers pick their left fork simultaneously then none of them can eat and deadlock occurs. The possible solutions for this are A philosopher must be allowed to pick up the forks only if both the left and right forks are available. Allow only four philosophers to sit at the table. That way, if all the four philosophers pick up four forks, there will be one fork left on the table. So, one philosopher can start eating and eventually, two forks will be available. In this way, deadlocks can be avoided.